Hello, internet. It's... <laughs> no. I put so much pressure on myself to start this in a good way, in a way that is entertaining and really captures this moment in time, but I fucked up. <laughs> All right, don't swear, Brian. This is going on the internet. This is part of your legacy. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm chilling in my apartment, okay? And tomorrow I'm flying back to Detroit for Thanksgiving. I'm so excited to see my family and my friends and be back in Michigan. I miss my hometown so much. And just that is just the tip of the iceberg for how my life is going right now, okay? So I've been stressing out a lot, like to a level that I didn't know existed. Like, and it's hard for me to talk about as a guy because, like, I feel like guys have this pressure not to talk about what's stressing them out because, like, they don't want to be weak and stuff. And, like, honestly, like, guys, it's hard. I, like, I feel like guys can't. It's like I really – it's like this battle inside of me. It's just, like, you don't want to tell people, like, what is stressing you out because then, like, people could, like, kind of use that against you in some way. Or, like, you don't want to be weak. You want to be a strong guy and, like, it just feels like sometimes you can't even talk about like what is stressing you out or what's bringing you down or like it feels like you just got to power through it because you need to be a man or like you need to be a provider like and like if and like you just feel like everyone else is like willing to just like let you fall down the hill like no one's going to pick you up like it feels it's like that sometimes like I'm only speaking for like guys because like I don't know what it's like to be a girl but like I assume like girls probably feel that pressure in some ways too but like as a guy I feel like there's so much pressure to be strong and like it's hard to like open up and be vulnerable but I feel like there's also a lot of strength in being vulnerable so like that's what I'm trying to do here right now so I just want to like tell other dudes like out there like it's okay to be stressed out and stuff because like I have been going through it like these past few days like I had a huge audition and like I'm an actor I live in Atlanta Georgia right now been here for about almost 11 months now. I moved in January of 2021 and like I've been auditioning for things and like I had this huge audition, huge show, sag after like sag after project in, in Chicago and you know it didn't go through and like that was a huge bummer and but it's, not, it's all right you know you'll get the next one like and then I had some auditions for these agencies and then I heard back from one like that they're not going to move forward with me like they gave me the opportunity to audition and everything and then it didn't work out and like that was a huge bummer and like I've been working so hard I work like 40 hours a week as a server and like it's so stressful and like I feel like like I was just like putting all this pressure on acting and I realized like I've become like addicted to this art form and I have all this pressure on myself when I'm not serving to have a good time and like you know I it's it's like you're just grinding you're just like it's all gonna be worth it because it's gonna pay off and then sometimes like a big audition doesn't come through or the agency audition doesn't come through and it just feels like it's not paying off and it's so stressful and it just feels good to even express it here but it makes me also feel like I feel weak and I feel like pathetic that I'm like not able to accomplish what I set out to do and it's like it's just this internal battle it's like what am I doing here like I could be back in Michigan getting a job working in advertising and then I could just live a normal life and get a house and have kids and and all that and get married and like find someone to settle down with but it's like also like I just have this big internal conflict of just like what do I want to do and like all those stressors added on with like this girl I've been kind of into and like she's just not like available right now and like that added stressor and feeling like I need to be a man or like more of a man to like attract this girl is also like a stressor of mine and I'm just like grinding at this job serving and just stressed out of my mind like serving takes so much energy I'm just feeling dead and like just barely being able to pay the rent and to buy food and just be able to do the normal expenses of life and it's just like what am I doing when the, the acting stuff isn't working out it's like I could be living such a comfortable life somewhere else but it's also like maybe I need to be living this like stressful life to become a man, to be the come the guy I want to be. Like maybe that's why guys don't reach their fullest potential. Maybe they don't reach that potential because they don't challenge themselves like I'm doing right now. Maybe I'm building the character to become the guy that I want to be. Does that make sense? And I just feel like I need to express these things because guys don't talk about them. Okay? I like cried like for a week straight. Like every day. 
like crying to a point where like it's like a physical pain like you know what i'm saying like you wake up and you just like like you your stomach hurts to a point where it's like physical it, like physically hurts and like questioning like what i'm doing with my life it's like what am i doing you know and it's like i'm like i'm broke and i'm just living in this apartment which might be too expensive like it's more expensive than my last place but my last place was already pretty expensive and had cockroaches in it. So it's like, what am I doing? Paying all this money to live in an apartment that has cockroaches and I've got ants going up into the cabinets and they're just eating the sugary stuff that like, it's in the, where the food is supposed to go. My food is where it's supposed to go and there's these ants that are crawling through my apartment and eating the food and it's like, oh my gosh, it's just so frustrating. And as a guy, I just feel sometimes like I can't express these things because I need to be a man. And I know like maybe that's not a good way of thinking about this or maybe it's toxic masculinity or something. But I'm also like a young man just trying to figure his, his life out. And you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm not unique in these ways, but it feels really personal to me. So I feel like I need to express these things so like maybe other people can realize that they're not alone. And it's like, I just, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, but like at the same time, like I've always been progressing in life, like jobs that I've had, like jobs that I've had have always been better than the last job. Like I started working, you know, at jobs that I didn't like, like folding clothes at Calvin Klein or being like, literally washing dishes for eight hours at a bakery at Michigan State. And it's like, what am I doing? Like those jobs sucked and I was pay getting paid barely any money. And like, you know, they, they provided me money at the time, but like, what I'm trying to say is like each job I've had has been better and like they're finally giving me bartending shifts at my job, which is fantastic. Like I love bartending and actually really like bartending and you know, bartending might actually be the savior to like my, my work issue because it's just like serving for 40 hours a week and just mentally and physically is just so draining and this bartending is fun and it's like sexy and I <laughs> like, I love bartending. It's fun. So that is a positive thing going on, but it's just like, I just, I just been really going through it lately. And then on top of all of that, the other day on my day off or no, it was after my shift and I have the next day off and I just, I fell in the concrete and I scraped my face and I was dealing with the stress of wondering if that was going to scar in my face. And I'm just like not trying to have a facial scar, like right on the side of my face next to my left eye. I was just like panicking and like, I literally like drove to the the CVS to get some some petroleum jelly. I heard that's supposed to be good if you get a cut, like to stop the scarring. It keeps it hydrated. But I've just been like just going through it, and I just miss my family. I miss mi living in Michigan, and I wonder if those feelings of missing Michigan and my family and friends back home would go away if I moved home. And but at the same time, I know how I felt when I was in Michigan and how badly I needed to get out of there and pursue my dreams and and. And I just feel like there's this, this, like inside of me, there's just like, it's being torn in like two directions. And, and I finally got my, my Volkswagen Beetle back today. I drive an orange Volkswagen Beetle. It's a great car. I love it. But the other day I went to pick it up and the car, it, the paint job was not done correctly. There was a broken tail light or a tail reflector was chipped off and you know they tried to to pass it off and that that just like triggered me and then I called my dad and and I just like opened up and like expressed to him all these things that I'm feeling and just it felt so good to express the things and um it just like, talking about it and realizing like oh maybe maybe it's okay to be maybe it's okay to be stressed out when you're working as a server 40 hours a week barely being able to pay your rent and on top of that like realizing there are people my age and people or not even just people my age but I am the opportunity cost of what I'm doing is living a more comfortable life in Michigan where maybe I could actually have a life have a social life and go to, to restaurants and bars and be served by other people like not just be serving people every day and then not having money to go to a restaurant or a bar you know have I don't have the money to even buy food I'm hungry like <laughs> Like it's, it's emotional to talk about. It's like, dude, like I literally, my job is to serve people and I'm hungry as I'm serving. Like that is so 
wild. And like, and then you just like feel like so stressed out by your situation. Like I'm stressed out being a server. And then on top of that, like feeling like I'm not enough of a man to attract the type of girl that I'm interested in is such a big stressor. And then having the talent agencies be like, oh, like you're not good enough to be at our agency, like better luck next year. Like, it's just like everything has been so much work. I've been putting all this energy into pursuing this art form that I'm so passionate about. And I love movies and I love the form of art and I love being an actor and I, I have a passion for the craft and just I have so much belief in what movies and films can do for society and culture and I love them and at the same time like I've just been going through it and just questioning my purpose and questioning my life decisions like that was one of the hardest things and biggest things I realized when I called my dad is it was like I'm just second guessing my decision to even move to Atlanta and pursue this acting thing or even pursuing acting in general or even just like just questioning all of my life decisions like and just realizing like I thought I could just was I always just have this faith that I'm correct and that I'll reach my goals and and get to this potential that I believe I have but you know you start to question that when you're faced with reality and it's just so frustrating and you know you you ask yourself what you would be willing to do to reach your dreams when you're a kid and then it's just like you, the reality of it is just like is so tough and you like you just start to like just you just start to be so frustrated with reality and realizing like this is why people don't achieve their dreams this is when people give up and it's like am i going to be one of those people that just like gave up and never reached their potential or is it the right decision to just completely just turn just to change your dreams just alter things like reach a, a similar satisfying end with different means like maybe I don't have to be an actor or a movie star just to reach the end goal of being satisfied and fulfilled and happy in life and like feeling like I express myself creatively like maybe I could do that through being a father or being a husband or just like being a kind human you know I maybe I don't need to like get married and have kids maybe I maybe I do maybe I don't maybe I can just express myself through being kind and express myself through just being alive and and I don't know I just I'm just have so many doubts and my faith is shaking but at the same time like all these things have been stressing me out so much I worked like all day as a server the other day got off at 1 a.m. 1 in the morning got home turned on Netflix and this movie called Tick Tick Boom starring Andrew Garfield just came out like on the 18th of November I believe 2021 and I had no idea it was coming out and I just came across it on Netflix and started watching it and I was glued I was wired in like instantly when it started it's about this server no I don't want to spoil anything but I'm not going to spoil anything so don't even worry about it but this movie actually started to give me some hope like I, I called my dad and I was like convinced I convinced myself that I'm just done I was just like like, you know, I was just like, I had a good run. Like, I'm going to come back to Michigan and rethink what I want to do with my life and get a job in advertising. And then I watched this film and like, it actually gave me some hope and made me feel like I'm not crazy for trying to do this here in Atlanta. And I just like, I really appreciate that film. And I love that film. And I, I can't wait to watch it again. I might watch it again tonight. I do have to get up in the morning and go to the airport at like 7.30 a.m., the Atlanta airport is very busy, so like they say to get there a couple hours early, but it's also Thanksgiving, so I feel like maybe I should get there extra early. But whew, it just feels good to even express these things, and I hope maybe this helps people. Maybe you can relate to some of this. Maybe you connect with some of this, and maybe like I hope that guys can realize that like that it's okay to be stressed out and vulnerable, and like. And it's okay to like question. I just feel like I've been questioning like my value as a man. Like 
and my ability to achieve my goals. And I just feel like sometimes it's like guys have an added pressure to really be a, be a certain caliber of a person. But yeah, I've just been really going through it and it just, it actually does feel really good to get some of this off my chest. So thank you so much for listening. And if you really like this podcast, like this is episode four and I'm going to keep making these. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, by the way. These are some just plugs midway through. I don't have any ad, like any sponsors yet. Someday. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some sponsors someday. But it's just, it's freeing to express these things. And another thing is like, I'm realizing maybe like I'm putting too much of my time and energy into just acting. Like maybe I need to um, rethink how I'm allocating my energy and my time and realize like maybe I'm not approaching this thing in the right way. Maybe by spending more time with friends and family and pursuing hobbies and whatnot, maybe I can be in a place where I'm more uh, give, able to give more to acting and maybe I'll be more successful if I approach it in a different way. But these are just like thoughts that I've been having and I just, I just it feels great to express them. But I just feel like I get so caught up in pursuing my, my, my goals sometimes that I forget about having fun or having friends or like dating and romance and I forget about those things and I justify them by just like by pursuing a goal and then I reach that goal and then you realize like oh I don't want to just be alone I want to succeed with others like I don't need to succeed with the world but it just I don't want to do it alone and you realize like achieving these things is like what's the point of being successful if you don't have people around you that you can share that with sometimes it's just like yeah I mean sometimes you do things just for you but at the same time, it's like if you dedicate 100% of your time and energy into reaching your goals, but then not having friends and stuff, that can be really stressful. I'm just making, I want to make sure I'm living my life the right way. And a realization I've had this week, I've been doing a lot of reflecting and journaling. And I've realized like, and meditating even, I meditated, I was so stressed out and I meditated and that really helped. And I think I want to meditate more. But I realized like, Peace is something that I'm after. I just want to be at peace. I want to be happy and I want to like find somebody to love and like just be at peace. Like I've realized like I I chased been chasing all these big dreams and these big goals. But what if the biggest goal I have is to be happy and to just find peace? Because I'm not peaceful right now. I'm stressed out in my mind. And um I feel like I've been putting all this exaggerated value on, on being an actor. And while I'm still passionate about acting and I still want to pursue it, I feel like I put it on this pedestal and let it control me in so many negative ways like an addiction. I feel like it's hard because like people want to support you and be like, oh, that's so cool. Like if you're pursuing acting, like what are you doing next? Or like what, what's the big next big project? And oh, we can't wait to see what you do. But it's almost like they, they're like, you know, like they don't understand that there's an addiction in some ways. And like, I feel like it doesn't have to be an addiction, but you can do it in moderation or you can approach it in a way that's healthy. But I feel like I haven't been doing it in a healthy way. And you just put all this time and energy into these auditions and it's just, you know, you record them in your apartment by yourself a lot of the times. And then you just, you don't hear back and then you just get into this loop of, remembering the lines and like expressing yourself and being as vulnerable as possible and then not hearing anything and then you have to learn new lines and do it over and over and over and over again ah it's so stressful and you're just in your apartment in your 530 square foot studio apartment in virginia highlands and you're just going crazy because you're just by yourself just spending all of your time playing pretend and you feel crazy <laughs> and I love being an actor. I love pre playing pretend and being an actor, expressing the human condition and the art form of acting. But also, it's making me go a little crazy. And I feel like I have been putting all my energy into it. I just feel like I want to have friends and I want to have more of a social life. And it's hard to have a social life when you're serving every night. That's a whole thing too. But, you know, I've, I've been like really playing with the idea. Like maybe... 
maybe I want to be in advertising. Maybe I want to work in advertising. Maybe I want to move back to Southeast Detroit and get an advertising job and just be a YouTuber in Michigan and have some friends and, and date and make money and not spend 70% of my income on my rent and my utilities and my internet. Like, oh, it's like, I've just been torn. And I feel like all of the initial excitement of moving to Atlanta to be an actor has worn off. And I'm just faced with the reality of the situation. And, you know, maybe I just need a new job. Maybe I just want to be a bartender full time because they still have me serving. But serving is very hard. It's a lot of energy, a lot of time is stressful. And shout out to people who are servers. They're underappreciated. And people do not respect servers in a way that they should a lot of the times. And, and it's just, I think maybe I need a new job. Maybe I need to get a, an apartment that's more affordable. I'm not really thinking about doing roommates. I don't really want to have roommates again. But well, maybe we'll see. I don't know what my life has in store. But I'm just re-looking at my life and re-evaluating my choices in life. And I'm just, I think just going through the, all of this stress has really made me re-evaluate things. And when I fell on my face on the concrete and I, I scraped my face and it was like, it was kind of like red and I was just worried that I was going to scar and I still might scar a little bit. And like, that's crazy to think like scars have always bothered me, but a facial scar is something that like really kind of is freaky and it's just like happens so fast and I just hope it doesn't scar. But if it does, like, you know, there's nothing I can do about it at this point, but just like, like, I was like, man, like, how did I even let myself get in that position? Like, I just need to be careful and take care of myself and watch my, and like, take care of my health and, like, not fall on my face on concrete and, like, scrape my face. Like, you don't, you only have one face. Eh. I don't know. I've just been torn. Like, I convinced myself I'm going to move back to Michigan and work in advertising and I convinced myself back to acting and then back to Michigan and back to acting. And I just feel like maybe there's a, a middle ground. Like, maybe I can do acting and work in advertising. Like, maybe I can make my own movies and put them on YouTube or something. But I'm just, like, torn. And it's like, I feel like I need to put all of my eggs into one basket sometimes. And it's just like, you know, you feel like, oh, if I don't commit 100%, if I don't put all my energy into, into my acting, that, like, someone else is going to do it. But it's like, you don't ha I feel like a balance is okay. I feel like you don't have to be hustle like all the time and sleep four hours a night. And like, I feel like that's not healthy. I feel like you can live a balanced life and maybe that's a better life. Maybe it's not healthy. It's not good for your health to just be constantly putting all your energy into being, being, uh, doing whatever you want to do. Like maybe you want to be a doctor, like putting all of your energy into doctoring. <laughs> that's not what it is. But it's like, it's like maybe it's not healthy to put all of your time and energy into, into just into what you're trying to do as a career. Maybe you should put like a third of your time to that and then a third of it into dating and romance and having someone to spend your life with and maybe another third into having kids. Like maybe, maybe it's not healthy and it's not satisfying to put all your energy into your career. Like, and, it, and like on top of that, Ah, oh, man, it's just like overwhelmingly stressful and frustrating right now. And I can't wait to visit Michigan so I can get, get take some time off of all this. I'm also visiting for the holidays, so I can't wait for that as well. Like this Thanksgiving trip is a little bit shorter, and then I'm going to go visit again for the holidays. And I can't wait, and I miss the snow. I miss the cold. People don't believe that, but I, I do miss the cold. And I am just realizing, like that I need to take some time off because I feel like I'm burnt out and I feel like I need to just take some time for myself and just relax and de-stress and probably meditate a bit more. Running has been helpful, but even meditation is even better than running at times. And I feel like I'm this literally living the server starving artist lifestyle right now and I just feel like I need to cool it for a second and just figure out what I want to do. Make sure this is what I want to do and I want to keep going. But I meet people when I'm serving. I meet like other actors and I meet people working in the movie industry and I drive past movie sets. And I know I get some hope sometimes. I get hope back. And I think maybe it's because I haven't had anything super huge come through. 
I mean, I had that music video back earlier this year that was pretty exciting. It's over. It's pretty, pretty. Um, it's been viewed quite a bit on the internet, and it's it's exciting to be a part of culture in that way. And like that gave me some hope too. And I feel like maybe like if I book something bigger, like maybe I'd be even more satisfied. But it's like it's this never ending thing where like you achieve something that like you've always wanted and then it's like you just set your goals higher and higher and it's like will I ever be satisfied and you just start to question like like it's never gonna be enough like nothing is ever gonna be enough so it's like what am I just I'm just running on this on this wheel I'm running on this wheel and it's like nothing will ever fully satisfy me and if I know that why do I keep running on the wheel why don't I just get off of the wheel and just be comfortable, lay down, and just live a comfortable life. Why do I just keep getting back on the wheel? Why do I just keep, why do I keep jumping in the tank with the sharks? Like, why do I swim with these sharks? I know they're dangerous. I know they're going to bite me. And then I just hang out with them, and I just get bitten. And I knew that was going to happen. So why, why did I get in the water? But I chose to get in the water, and then I got bit. And then I wonder, like, why, why did I do that? Why did I get in the water with the sharks? Like, why am I swimming with the sharks? But then I finally get comfortable again, and I jump right back in, and I don't know why. I mean, I do know why, because I just, I mean, I don't know why. Why? <laughs> why? Why do I feel this desire to pursue something? Why can't I just be content, just, it just be content just buying a, a house in Michigan and working a normal job and living a normal life? Maybe I will be. Maybe I will. Maybe I, this is just a phase. And maybe in a week or two, maybe in a month, maybe in five months, maybe six months, like I'll just come to the realization that that's all I need. Maybe I just want to go back to Michigan and live a simple life. And maybe that's better than any life as a movie star, as an actor could possibly be. But how do you know? I feel like just growing up, part of it is just having to make decisions. You have to make choices. And... I'm realizing like that, you know, you, you, as a kid, you're like, oh, I, I want to do whatever I want. And then you get to be an adult and you can do whatever you want. But then you realize that you have to make big decisions that will change your life. And it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. And, but it's up to you. And there are drastically different ways you can go. There are da drastically different paths. But I've always, always told myself, and I feel like just part of, like something ingrained in me has always wanted to take the path less traveled. Like I haven't found the common path or the, the way of the normal life. And it doesn't interest me as much as like just making a new path. And, and I just, I feel like, like people can relate to that. And I, I just don't understand my own mind. Like I don't understand my own consciousness it's like, why do I need, feel the need to do that? What is this drive inside of me? Like, can I rechannel this drive into a life that is more simple and more comfortable? Like, I have these strong urges and these desires to achieve things and to do things and to be a man. And maybe being a man is all I've ever wanted to be. I've thought about that. It's like, maybe I didn't want to be an actor as a kid. Maybe I didn't want to be a movie star. Maybe I just wanted to be a man that was worthy of attention and respect and honor and do something that provides value and acting just allowed me to view something on a view a guy on a screen and feel his value inside of me and like if you look the guy inside of me <laughs> oh my god but you get what I'm trying to say is like I just I feel like acting you watching the film you feel connected to the character and and like and you just you realize, oh, that guy is providing value to me, or that girl or that woman is providing value to me. And you realize it in real time. But you realize as an adult, like maybe it doesn't have to be that transparent, or not transparent, but yes, but that obvious. Like maybe I can, maybe what I'm after is just being a guy that can provide value, that can provide being a man worthy of respect and honor and living my life in a way that I can be proud of. Maybe it's not that I wanted to be a movie star ever or that I even wanted to be an actor. Maybe I just wanted to be a man, like a, a man. 
And, you know, I, I'm a young man right now and I'm not at my fullest potential yet. And it just kills me that I'm not maybe, but I also need to give myself patience and time and realize that I'm not going to be a complete man from day one. And I feel like I'm more of a man now than I was when I moved here. And I'm so glad I moved here because I really do feel like it's shaping me in a way that I'm becoming more of a man. And I don't, and it, maybe it, Maybe I don't even need to be a man. Like, like you know, like, why do I feel this pressure to be a man? Like, even, like, as a kid, we were playing football. My coach, you know, I'm upset. I want to be a running back, but they have me as the right guard. And I remember my coach being like, you need to be a man up. You're like, you need to stop crying. Like, you need to toughen up. You're like, be a man. Like, you know, like, you're just told that. And you just, like. You, believe, you start to believe that, like, that's what you need to do. And, like, maybe it is what you need to do, you know? Maybe part of being a man is is making sacrifices. Like, maybe that's part of growing up. As you get to a point where you have to grow up, maybe that's just part of life. Like, maybe that's just, you just, you don't get to have the freedom to do whatever you want, pursue whatever you want when you get older. Maybe that's just the reality of the situation. And I just feel like I have all this internal conflict and I just feel this need to express it. And I just don't know what I'm doing with my life. And I just want to set myself up for the future. I don't want to be in a position where I set myself up for failure and I never like have the ability to to do what else I want to do, like to live a comfortable life in the future. If I just like, I don't want to set myself up for failure down the line. So I just hope I'm doing things right. And I just feel like I'm going through a lot of stress right now. And I just miss Michigan. I miss my parents and my sisters and my friends. And I miss my hometown. I like miss Detroit. I miss where I grew up. I miss I-75. I just miss like the place, the place of Michigan. I miss the Great Lakes. I just miss the place. You miss, it's just what you're comfortable. It's like where I'm from. But I also wonder if going back, if it's just a time of my life that I miss, maybe I just miss childhood or I miss being young and innocent and maybe moving back wouldn't change any of my feelings now. But then it's like, if I move back and I still feel the same way I am now, at least now I'm pursuing acting and I have this thing that I'm working towards. And maybe if I just stick it out longer, I'll get to a point where I can live a comfortable life and be an actor and maybe have everything I've ever dreamed of and maybe more. Maybe I can have more than I've ever dreamed of. But then also I just listen to successful people talk or like I listen to artists that have made it and I listen. They're still sad. They're still struggling with the, th the same things I'm talking about. They're still struggling with this internal conflict of living a simple life versus pursuing an art form. And I wonder if even if I am successful, if it will even bring me satisfaction and you just feel like just crazy because like you just feel like I have, I have the opportunity to go live a comfortable life and I'm not choosing to do that and I wonder why. And then you listen to these artists that are successful or you watch interviews of actors who are successful or artists like musicians that they're singing and they're singing about things that you're ta I'm talking about and talking about how being a big artist didn't change anything and they're still upset and they're still struggling. And maybe art is just an external expression of internal turmoil. And I've realized the more, more content I become and the more intelligent I become, sometimes I realize the less I feel this need to express myself. And I wonder if there's correlation there because it's like the more I the more peace I find, sometimes the less I feel I need to express myself. And I wonder if maybe I should just not fight that. Maybe I should just be good. Maybe I should just, just let my desires to become an artist die because maybe that's where I'll find peace. Maybe the desire to create art is actually not healthy. I don't know. I'm just questioning everything. But also acting is something I've wanted to do my whole life and I love movies and, and there's nothing else that excites me as much as that does right now in my life and I don't know maybe that's changing maybe it's just that I'm growing up and my dreams and my are changing maybe I have new dreams and or added dreams and maybe I can have it all or maybe I can't I can't decide and it's just such a thing that I'm trying to understand and trying to figure out and I don't know the answers right now I'm just expressing how I feel and 
I'm in a place now that I'm okay, but clearly I have a lot on my mind and clearly I was crying for days, like literally at work, I like broke down in the back hallway and I have a wonderful coworker that like, she really talked to me and, and helped me realize I just need to take it one day at a time. And even my dad said the same thing. He just, I feel like I get so caught up in, in, and then thinking about my life, like my full on life, like to the end. I just think to the end and sometimes that can be so overwhelming. You start, start tripping. You start tripping because you're like, you're thinking too far ahead, but then you realize maybe it's impossible to plan that far ahead because there are unknown things that are going to present themselves and you just can't think too far ahead sometimes. And I do that and people tell me, oh my gosh, this is a whole nother thing. People always tell me like, I put so much pressure on myself or I overthink and I don't think that, but maybe, maybe yeah, there's something wrong with my brain. Like I, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I put too much pressure on myself or I overthink. I feel like this pressure is necessary and I feel like all this thinking is necessary because that's how I've been successful. Maybe it's not healthy, but also maybe it's why I'm successful and why I've achieved what I have. And like, it's like, it's like, how can people tell me what I should be thinking or how I should be treating myself? How can they be telling me these things when they're not inside my brain? And it's like, they don't understand my process, how my brain works. I don't even understand how my brain works. Hum humans don't understand how brains work. Consciousness is like this huge mystery. And for people to tell me how to think or like, oh, you're putting too much pressure on yourself or you're overthinking. It's like, like, well, maybe, maybe I can't even change that. And maybe I can, but maybe if I don't live my life and think the way I do, maybe that's, maybe that's not how I will become who I am and be successful. And like, maybe that's why I'm successful is because of how much thought I put into things and how, and the, the pressure I put on myself and this urgency I put inside myself to, to, to achieve things. But it's like also putting so much time and energy and thought into achieving things has made me suffer in my social life and my dating life and my romantic life. But it's also like, I feel like I need to be successful in a career or as an actor to be a man to, that women would desire in a certain to a certain extent and I I just have all of this going on on my in my brain and I just feel like I need to express it and I'm okay but I've been so stressed out and I've been like upset and I feel so weak and I feel like women might not want a guy who is weak but also I feel like but maybe this will make me strong going through this. And maybe guys are going through this and maybe they're not expressing it. And and maybe the guys who are strong did go through this and became strong. And sometimes I feel like my emotions hold me back from being like a full a man. And I just I just feel all this conflict inside of me. And I don't want to be emotional. I don't want to be sensitive. But at the same time, like, I don't know if I, I have it in me to not be like that. Maybe that's just part of who I am. And I just need to, and I just need to not try to be something that I'm not. And, and I don't know. I just, I, I wonder if maybe I can, you know, find balance. Maybe I can have a little bit of everything I want. And maybe I just need to figure out, figure out, um, the healthy balance. Maybe I just need to find balance. And, and that's okay. And that's okay to not know what I want to do right now. I'm still, you know, young. I can, I can, I can decide what I want to do. I can decide what I want to do with my energy and my time. I have time, but I also feel like I don't have time. And I just feel like this pressure to achieve things right now. And I can't. And I'm scared, you know, I'm scared of not not living my life in a way that makes me happy, in a way that I'm supposed to, in a way I'm afraid to, to set myself up for failure. Like, I just, I want to make sure that I'm okay and I'm going to be happy and satisfied. I want to be satisfied and I, I got to make sure that I'm setting myself up for that. And, and that's basically all I want to talk about today, but I, I really like the movie Tick, Tick, Boom. 
2021. Definitely go check it out. Andrew Garfield is an amazing actor. I love that film. It's also like a musical, so definitely check that out, especially if you're a struggling actor or a struggling artist. I feel like that film has so much relevance there, but also just as a human being, just living life, I feel like it, anyone can relate to it. And, man, I have to go move my laundry from the washer to the dryer because my laundry machine is across the parking lot, so I have to leave my apartment. Someday, maybe I'll have a bigger apartment, and, I don't know, maybe I'll actually have a bedroom someday. Not just a studio apartment, but it's 520 square feet, 530 square feet, maybe. I've been reading a book lately, too. I read a lot of books now, and I hope I can solve some of these problems and have less stress in my life. I can't wait to visit Detroit tomorrow. I get to spend three full days in Detroit, a full weekend, and then like five days total. So I'm flying in, I have three full days, and then the next day I'm flying home to Atlanta. So I can't wait to go to Detroit and celebrate Thanksgiving with my family and play football. We have a, a football game each year. I think we started it last year or the year before. But we're going to play football. Can't wait. And I, I got to go. But thank you so much for listening to my podcast. I did not realize I had so much to get off my chest. But I've been stressed out. And hopefully I can take some time these next few weeks to de-stress and just kind of figure out what I want and figure out moving forward, like, if I plan to stay in Atlanta or move back to Michigan or what I want to do with my life. And and I feel like I'm finding answers and I feel like this is necessary for me to question these things and to really put a lot of thought into these things and rethink my strategies for life. And um, it's very frustrating right now. I'm very stressed out. But hopefully, hopefully if, you know, if you're dealing with something similar to this, you can understand. Or maybe if, if you're someone that's listening to this and you realize like being 23 – years old like is is an age where you're like really just struggling to find some ground to just stand on you know all these people have established themselves and you're just fighting to to have something to work with like you're just trying to survive you're just trying to eat food and, and be happy and, and realizing like 23 is like nobody has it figured out yet and it's just you're just trying to figure out what you want to do and and how you're going to do anything and just trying to find some some ground to stand on in this world where like it just feels sometimes like nobody's nobody wants to see you succeed except you know your friends and family and I don't know I need to go but this has been good I I like podcasting and I'm I didn't know I had so much to talk about thank you for listening so much and you bring it the podcast episode four is over thank you for watching subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Instagram at the Brian Andrus and check out the music video for NF Clouds on YouTube, it has over 41 million views right now. Watch Dinner in America, the feature film when it comes out. I have a speaking role in that movie. Okay, thanks. And I will see you next time. Bye. Oops, <laughs> I tried to stop it, but it did. Um, yes, thank you for listening to my podcast. Someday this is going to be huge. All right, bye.